rewrite each of the statements in 32 and 33 as a conjunction of two if-then statements. Now the biconditional between P and Q is logically equivalent to P implies Q and Q implies P. So if we say this integer is even is our P and it equals twice some integer we'll say is Q. So now we can say that if this integer is even, then it equals twice some integer. And if this integer equals twice some integer, then this integer is even. So this is how I would rewrite the statement. And it's a little confusing in how it's said, but if this integer is even, then it equals twice some integer. So that's the P implies Q part. And if this integer equals twice some integer, then this integer is even. Now, if you notice, I didn't put the word it here, and that's because in this independent clause, it's unusual to introduce a noun with a pronoun like it. And so what is it? It is, in this context, this integer. And so when we say equals twice some integer, when I say this integer, I'm referring to this integer. That's the best way I can structure this biconditional as a conjunction of two if-then statements. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.